Okay, so we're going to go through the new stuff first and kind of comment on everything, uh, how we think it's going to affect PvP, PvE, whatever. And whether we think it's like a good change, a bad change, or just like pseudo or whatever, whether, how much it's going to affect us, what niche it fills, that sort of stuff. And then kind of give an overall... Um, I guess summary on how we think Priest is going to be in Shadowlands or, or the strength of it uh, based on the potential changes or, or if it's going to be fun. So to start with we're getting a bunch of new baseline abilities back. This is like the confirmed stuff I guess for now. Um, potentially they can take stuff out again. I hope they don't. But yeah we'll have to wait and see for that. Potentially there's more stuff to come. Uh, we'll have to see what's in Alpha. Hopefully I get an Alpha key. Um, so that we can kind of test some stuff out, theory craft some stuff on Priest, see what's good, see what works, see what doesn't, that sort of stuff. Um, that would uh, would be huge. I'll make another video like this if uh, if I get alpha, since we'll have more information. So baseline abilities: we got Mind Blast, Mind Soothe, PI, Shadow of Death, and Shadow of Pain. Uh, so there's a couple of of kind of unsure parts to this. Mind Blast is apparently going to be, well we can read it here, Mind Blast will provide a, uh, a prov provide a powerful burst of damage and atonement healing along with an absorption shield for a significant mana cost. So this is already good from my my point of view because what it does is it's, it's going to be shadow, right? And it's going to, depending on how much healing it does, um, it's going to be a big AoE heal or at least decently sized from the wording, AoE heal, um, that's going to be having decent mana cost. You're not going to want to use it all the time because you're going to go oom, um, but it's going to be like an out, so to speak, for when you fall behind his disc and you need to kind of pump some instant healing to catch up. Um, so that's Mind Blast. That's pretty, uh, that's pretty hype. Um, can't see them adding a massive CD to it. I hope they don't. Um, based on kind of how MD is, the cooldown of MD kind of removes a lot of kind of potential outplay possibilities. The fact that it's longer than hyperthermia from Mage is madness. Uh, not being able to MD two two blocks in a row against a Frost Mage or like against a Pala Pala. Rogue Mage team or something, you can't remove the blocker and the bubble. Usually they come relatively quickly after each other, or they can do. So that's obviously a, a problem. So, again, having having the high mana cost and making the player have that decision whether or not to use it regularly or not, I think is a lot better and a lot healthier for the class design than adding a longer cooldown to it and restricting it in that way. So I, I hope this is a, a relatively low cooldown. Um, but again, you're punished for spamming it due to the mana cost. So we'll have to wait and see for that one. We don't have the cooldown of it yet, I don't think. I'm going to check in the next document in a sec from the data mine stuff, but that'll be interesting to see. Um, other than that, we've got Mind Soothe. I mean, that's pretty much placebo. Uh, it's going to help you with world quests. Uh, unless they add something new that it does, yeah, it's not not a big thing. Right, we got Lights Caress. No, wait, I'm going. To, I'm getting ahead of myself. We've got PI. So PI can be one of two things, I guess. It's either the uh, the self-cast only version, which was um, haste and reduced mana cost. Uh, or it's the cast on everyone version, which is haste and mana cost. Or it's the damage version that's castable on everyone. So I guess there's three like versions of it that it could potentially be. Um, and from what we've seen, it's castable on, on multiple targets, and it's going to be the haste version, which I really like. I think that's good. I think it's, it's the correct form of it to bring back and the most enjoyable form of it to use. Uh, so I'm really hyped for this. I think this is a really good good thing to be bringing back. Uh, Shadow of Death, kind of the same thing. It can either be the execute Shadow of Death or the proper Shadow of Death. Um, that does damage to you, and we've had word on Twitter that it's actually the original version of it that does damage to you, so that's very, very good. 
Uh, that's probably the thing I'm most excited about for Shadowlands, having Shadow of Death back so that you don't have to talent it, so that you can actually have Shadow of Death against every team, and that opens up a whole fucking world of outplay potential against so many other teams that you previously couldn't use Premonition against. So that's fantastic. That's a fantastic thing to be bringing back. I'm really happy about that. Uh, and the last one is Shadow of Pain. Well, that doesn't really affect Disc too much. Uh, I think that's more for more for Holy. Um, there are some implications of this. Uh, we need to see what we can death. Potentially, we can't death fears right now. The only thing, the only fear in the game we can't death is priest fear for unknown reasons. Uh, as that would add so much more depth to the priest v priest matchup. So that's a real shame. That would be fantastic to see. Being able to death priest fear as well as warlock fears and that that kind of thing. If we can't death warlock fears, it's going to be real rough. But yeah, we'll have to wait and see on that. Um, pain coming back, I guess that's that's more of a holy change than anything. Uh, as shadow and disc have it already. Um, but yeah, I think for all of the specs that don't already have mind blast, pi, and death, this is like a really big change. Thanks for the sub, Rowan. Appreciate it, man. People insist on, on subbing during the video, dude, I swear. Appreciate it, thank you. Um, okay, yeah, so PI is being re reworked. It can now be cast on allies. Good stuff, good stuff. Right, then we have the new stuff that they've added. So, Light's Caress. Uh, this enables disciplined priests to heal their allies by blessing them with power word barrier and healing them again if they're still under the barrier when it expires. I think this is really bad. Uh, I think that power word barrier is a super outdated mechanic. Um, I think that the game is a lot less static than it used to be in both PvP and PvE. Um, and I think that forcing not only yourself to kind of play around other, be other people staying still, but also other people having to play around you having a clunky mechanic, I think is really bad. Plus, having to stay in it all the way until the end. I mean, this better be like a 100% heal. Because this is a big fucking condition. Um, and I would like to see less, um, of the priest design being centered around barrier, um, and it being phased out rather than more. So yeah, it would be, it would be fantastic for this to have something like barrier is now f fucking castable on friendly players and it moves around with them or something rather than it being a static thing on the floor, because I think that's... Generally an outdated design, so I'm not a big fan of this one. Uh, Shadowwood Coven rework for like what the third time. Um, maybe this time it's gonna gonna work out. I like that they're kind of trying to. I, I like that they've um, identified that Shadow Covenant is not in a good place, um, and that they're changing it. I'm concerned that they are beating a dead horse with really trying to make this mechanic work. But it would be interesting to see how this one works because they've changed it a fair amount. God damn you, turn. <laughs> Thanks for the 28 months, dude. Um, so yeah, I like that they've they've reworked it a fair amount. So we'll have to see how it plays out. Uh, this instantly heals a chosen hero and four other injured allies. So that's the same with uh, within a small area and moderately... Okay, so this is the extra bit. In moderately increases the damage the priest deals for a short period of time. So you're getting more value for your global. Um, the damage increase, I don't know what it is yet. Again, we'll have to check on the other... Th other um, the other wowhead post for more numbers. Um, but I think this... How much this is, is important. Dur because you have this... Uh, as a as risk versus reward, right? During which they cannot cast any holy spells. So what I'm thinking is you cast something like this, you get some instant AoE healing, and then you pop like a mind blast, right? And you do the big big atonement burst plus extra damage. Um, but if you do get locked on shadow, then it's going to be real scary. So not sure how I feel about this part. Um, Maybe it's going to be good. Depends on how long it lasts, to be honest. Like, if this is like 10 seconds, then I don't think this is going to be uh, that viable for PvP. Yeah, sure, that's a good point. If you can cancel Aura it, maybe it's okay. 
Um, I don't know if Shadow Mend is completely gone, or if we're getting Flash Heal instead, or what. Because it doesn't say baseline abilities Flash Heal here. Uh, and then we have Mind Blast as well, we already talked about that. Uh, the Holy Stuff, not that interesting. Circle of Healing now baseline. Um, and Prayer Circle, new talent. Um, it'll be interesting to see what, what tier these are on as well, these talents, actually. Shadow Mend is not gone, it's only for Disc now. Okay. So, I mean, I guess you can mend still, since you're locked into Shadow School. So, I guess it's, I guess it's not terrible. I guess it's not terrible. I have to see. I'm interested to give this a try. I think it could be cool. I guess this is going to replace Schism or something like that. Um, Mind Blast we've done. Okay, yeah, we're on Holy. So, so Prayer Circle. Prayer Circle and Power Circle of Healing, reducing the cast. I'm a Prayer of Healing moderately for a short period of time when cast. Honestly, that's just a PvE change. I can't really see that being that viable or that useful in PvE. Uh, in PvP, sorry. Right, so Shadow, we've got Death and Madness as a new talent. Each time a target dies after being slain with Shadow Word Death, the Shadow Priest gains a substantial amount of insanity over a few seconds. In addition, Shadow Word Death resets instantly ready to use again. I mean, the reset is cool. Um, I like that. Uh, Light's Caress replaces Lenience. Okay, that's interesting. It, I mean, it's interesting, but it is a very sad talent, honestly. Like, you're, you're doming to prevent damage, so then the fact that you get healing at the start kind of makes not that much sense, because usually people are going to be relatively topped, so it's probably going to overheal a bunch, and then usually by the time it ends, it's kind of like they want to either kite or move out, or, or the damage incoming has ended, so staying static because of how long it lasts feels bad. So, yeah, not, not a huge fan of this design um, for PvE or PvP. Um, so, yeah, this, this looks cool. This looks like the Shadow gameplay is going to be a little bit more, like, fluid almost. Looks interesting for sure. Uh, and then Surrender to Madness is back, which I think could be fun. Um, I think Shadow Priests were doing some nutty stuff with that in, in Legion, I believe. So I don't think this is bad to have back. We can also try and maybe think of some potential uh, things that it's missing or that we'd like to see at the end um, and just like discuss it with chat a little bit, I guess. Could be fun. Um, so we've got Desperate Prayer available to all specs. Um, interesting to see if that takes you out of shadow form. Probably won't, I would say. Um, but yeah, we'll have to see if Shadow loses anything else. This is, I think this is okay. Um, Discord passive value minus thirty four percent for pain, mind blast, and I don't even know what this is. So Mind Blast looks like a 7.5 second recharge. It doesn't say the mana cost. I guess this is the Shadow version. We'll have to see what the Disc version looks like. Uh, Flash Heal. Apparently we're getting it. I guess. Now available to all specs. 3.6% um, base mana cost. Be interesting to see how much it heals for. It doesn't look like the scaling is increased. So it might just be terrible still. Have to see. Not sure. Um, focused will for holy looks like you're getting it at a lower level. Again, that's like whatever. Uh, holy nova, just a tooltip change. Uh, Leap of faith now available to all specs. I mean, I guess it was anyway. Not too sure what's going on there. I guess it's a tooltip change or something. I don't know. Uh, penance cost change from 2% to 1.8% of base mana. So penance actually getting um, efficiency buff, which is crazy to me because it's already really efficient. Um, but okay. Powered Radiance getting a coefficient buff. Um, so that's going to hit slightly harder rather than just be an atonement applicator. That's good for PvE. Uh, sorry, for PvP if we're still running the Radiance 
uh, talent. So yeah, that'll be that'll be interesting to see. Focused will is oh holy focused will is 30 30 percent being enough to 15 percent. So ideally, if the class is in a good place, you don't need this to exist, right? There's no reason for this passive like because we want to reduce the amount of passive stuff in the game, right? Because passive stuff is bad for the game. Um, so things like this shouldn't need to exist if the class is well designed. Um, which means you have enough utility, mobility, and stuff like that to take care of yourself and not get one shot by melee. Um, so that going down from 30 to 15, I think is okay. Slowly phasing it out is, is the way forward, I think. Uh, as long as they appropriately compensate in other areas. Uh, where are we down to? So Radiance now is an additional charge, okay. Powered Shield. It's getting a scaling buff. So Power Shield going to do more again. Uh, but cost more. Fair enough. Psychic Scream now available to all specs. Would like to see this being put back to 30 second cooldown. I think having uh, a 30 second cooldown reduction as a talent is lazy design. I think there could be much more interesting talents in that tier. Um and being pigeonholed into taking this 99% of the time is, is disappointing. I would like to take knock, take knock a lot more, but needing 30 second fear kind of puts that out the window a lot of the time. So it would be nice to see that baseline and a different talent in that place. Uh, shadow Mend changed from disc shadow to just disc. So shadow losing shadow mend. Um, and it's actually getting a scaling buff. Which, may, which begs the question, why are they adding Flash Heal to Disc? Uh, that seems really weird to me. Shadow Mend is looking to be superior. What is it? 220% for 3.5% base mana. Versus 135% of spell power for 3.6. So the mana cost is about the same. This is just scaling way better I think maybe this is just gonna have to have a, a base I, I don't know I don't understand shadow mend is significantly better than flash heal and cheaper yeah it deals damage as well but they're gonna take that damage anyway and if they take that damage anyway then it's fine So, not too sure about that one. Um, we'll have to see. Well, at least when you get locked on Shadow School and your penance is on cooldown, you have like yeah, but it's it's like it shouldn't be that way. The fact that Disc already has two schools makes it easier to play. Two healing schools, that I mean, like that's not good. Like, the only reason it's remotely acceptable is because Penance has a cooldown. I would much rather they delete Mend, buff Flash Heal, and then add some form of Aura Mastery or Instant Throughput um, to deal with interrupts. Yeah, I mean, maybe the Flash Heal, flash heal change is wrong. Maybe it is. I think a few patches now nah, that's been incorrectly data mined, so we'll have to see. Um, I don't think we need Renew. I think Pom would be nice. But I don't think we need Renew. I think we have Renew already in the form of Purge the Wicked comboed with Atonement. Uh, Shadow Word Pain. Looks like it's just getting nerfed. Actually, it's it's not nerfed, but it's lasting less duration. Which is interesting. I guess they want to reduce... I guess it's still doing the same amount over 
a shorter duration. Like it's going to tick for the same, but it's just not going to last as long. So you have to apply it more often. It'll be interesting to see. Maybe that's an indirect Purge the Wicked buff. Because Purge the Wicked lasts 24 seconds, right? How much? Can someone do the maths real quickly? Is it a DPS buff? Okay. So it's a slight DPS buff. What do we lose? It's 25% less duration, right? And it's about 25% less damage. For disc at least, I think it's I think it's in line. I don't think it's a buff in DPS. Cause these are both reduced by about 25%. Um so you're gonna have to apply it more often. But it might be an indirect Purge the Wicked buff because Purge the Wicked lasts, what, 24 seconds or some shit? That's rank two. Uh, it's rank one. Rank two increases it by four seconds. Oh, is that why? Again, we have to see. This is still data mine stuff, so some stuff may be incorrect. Um... Wait, so is Smite getting changed to Mind Blast? Name change from Smite to Mind Blast. What the f So it's gonna gonna provide a big shield. That's a weird change. How's that gonna affect PvE? You have no filler spell now. What do you do for atonement healing? You're just going to stand around. I think that's wrong. That's got to be wrong. There's no way. Mind Blast, probably no CDA, but we were talking about Mind Blast being a substantial mana cost up here. Where is it? Here. Powerful burst of damage along with an absorption shield for a significant mana cost. It makes no sense. It's not rip disc, it just makes no sense. It's not that bad for PvP, but for PvE, like what do you do? You're just gonna stand around, there's nothing to press. Because you lose your filler. That's very weird. Look at the scaling of it as well. It's scaling way higher. So it's going to prevent more damage. The Covenant ability boon specifically refers to Smite. Yeah, I, I can't imagine they're removing Smite. I think this is just a data mining error. I think that Mind Blast is essentially a powered up Smite. Um, and this is a data mining error. Because removing Smite makes no sense at all. I can't see them doing that. Um, so I think the Mind Blast is just going to be a powered up Smite that costs more, that you can do more burst healing with, which is really good. If that's if that's the case, that's really good. Um, because then it kind of fills that niche that you have in PvE, Mythic Plus, um, and PvP, where you kind of need that burst of protection slash healing uh, when you're behind. Yeah, maybe Smite doesn't uh, absorb damage anymore. We'll have to see. Um, but yeah, removing Smite would make no sense. So we'll have to we'll have to see. I think this is incorrect. Um, Angelic Feather, no change. All right, so this is the talents now. So it would be nice to see Feather up to sixty percent. Um, I think forty percent is too slow, considering we lack any sort of other mobility. We're probably the least mobile class in the game. Um, body and soul, just again, wording changes. I don't know what initial means. I guess that's a data mining error because it's on here as well. Initial, I don't know what that means. That's strange. Um, honestly, it would be nice to see these two rolled into one. Make it 60%. I think you can delete feather. I honestly don't think Feather is needed. You put it on the shield. I think that's fine. Uh, due to 
the way that shield works now with weak console it doesn't pigeonhole you into having a cooldown on your movement ability um so that's fine and i think that putting this to 60 percent for three seconds is fine um as i say i think 40 percent is too little for all content um and then it would be nice to see in the place of feather I think masochism needs to go. I don't think that's a good baseline ability to have. I don't think it has any applications in PvE at all. And in PvP, you pretty much have to take it against teams that can potentially go on you, but then you're gambling that they're gonna go on you. And if they don't go on you, then you have no mobility and you're just in a wheelchair the whole game. So it's not a nice talent to have. Uh, it doesn't feel good to take it. and when you take it and don't need it, it feels even worse. So I'd like to see masochism either made baseline or removed. Um, I don't think it should be necessary in the first place. I think you kind of make up for the lack of it in other areas of the class design. Um, which brings me on to my next point of having some sort of freedom on this tier. I think that Priest lacks that in a big way right now, especially in PvP. Um, a personal freedom, uh, potentially on Fade, would be fantastic and uh, another thing I would like to see back on this tier as well because we have two spaces now would be spectral guys if we if they brought back spectral guys I'd be over the moon I can't see them doing it but it's probably one of the most fun abilities I've ever had on disc or priest in general so getting that back would be absolutely fantastic Give me, give me some, give me some love for spectral guys in the chat. I want to hear how much you like that shit. Spectral guys without move speed. Yes, yeah, so you either choose spectral guys or move speed. If you have spectral guys and move speed, it's like getting a free fear. It's not okay. Yeah, mop holy was probably one of the most fun specs of priest I've played, for sure. So yeah, that's what I think about this tier. Uh, I think it has a lot of potential. It just needs a little bit of work. Um, so castigation seems unchanged. Uh, contrition seems unchanged. Divine star. So divine star and halo, I think are, they're both pretty lackluster. I think that they could do with being rolled into one. Um, I think that halo in stuff like mythic plus uh in general is kind of um unpredictable you need to be very aware of where you are and when you're using it and it kind of doesn't really allow for it then um and just generally both buttons do not feel good to press there's very little actual visible effect from pressing them due to the nature of the aoe of the spells uh, if you up how much they actually do, then uh, it's going to be overpowered in raids. So I think having these roll into one and having some sort of rework on them so that it's more potent uh, in smaller groups would be really nice to see. Um, and then another talent on this tier so that you're choosing either Purge the Wicked, which is your single target dot, um, or you're having some sort of decent AoE heal or then a third option. Can't think of anything off the top of my head right now. Potentially prayer amending uh, would be nice to see on this tier. So yeah, that's that's the Divine Star Halo tier. Lenience removed, fantastic. Don't know why it was ever added. Actually feels like they were five minutes before launching the game and they were like, shit, we're missing a talent. What do we do? Oh, well, let's throw in this 3% damage. Like, don't know. Don't know why it ever got added. It actually replaced PI. It's absolutely tragic. So fantastic that that's being removed. Um, when you consider that was our, our final tier talent and one of our choices was lenience. And then the ironic part is in a lot of content, the best choice was lenience. Says a lot about that final tier. Um, so right now we have evangelism, which is our raid choice. Not sure what's getting put in place of lenience. Potentially the new talent for Barrier, which would be pretty sad because that's another non-hype talent in my opinion, but we'll see. Um, I got killed. 
Um, and then we've got the middle. I can't even remember what the middle talent is. That's how, oh yeah, the, the AoE shield shit instead of barrier. Um, which... Honestly, it's not that great. I think people just use that to pad meters in PvE. Um, and it's just in, in, uh, inferior to evangelism in any in every way. Um, and in PvP, you can just dispel it and it doesn't even give that much absorb. So it's just... It's just terrible. Here it is. Speak of the devil. So I guess, the, I guess Light's Caress is replacing Lenience since it's coming right after. Yeah, look, in place of Lenience, I'm blind. Allies are healed for 210% of spell power when they gain the benefit of powered barrier and are healed again for 210. So, it's like a mend by the looks of it. It's about the amount of spell power of, of a mend. Um, so, it's nice to get some instant benefit of it, but again, most likely when you're casting it, people are going to be quite high health anyway because. The damage hasn't hit yet. You're if in PVE and in PvP, you're usually trying to pre-dome a go, which usually means that people are relatively high health anyway. So the instant heal is going to be overhealed, and then they have to stay in it for the full duration, which probably means they're going to take extra damage because they're not kiting. Um, and PVE sometimes people need to move on. There's mechanics coming, so they might not be able to stay in it uh, after the damage is hit, because usually. It ends a fair bit after the damage is hit, usually you're using it a couple of seconds before the damage comes. So this, for me, is a very clunky talent, and I don't... I'm not a fan. Um, would be nice to see something a little bit more fluid. Um, nice to see lenience removed, but this isn't much better, in my opinion. Uh, it's, it's an attempt... At some interesting dynamic, but it's on the wrong ability, in my opinion. Putting this on something like... The, see, for me, the instant benefit of barrier is not terrible. Right? You use barrier, and then there's a global. You have other cool lines like rapture. You use rapture, and then you have a global. And when you press rapture, you don't have any actual benefit of rapture for that global until you press something again. So something that actually does, I don't know, an AoE heal or something, you know, some value from when you press that button before you cast that first shield on Rapture, now that it's on Global, would be nice to see. And I think that's more needed than this. Um, and that happened, that started happening in BFA when they added the Global to Rapture and, and various other abilities. Rapture got hit really hard with that um, and feels a lot better, a lot worse to press now due to it. Um, so yeah, that's that's definitely something I'd like to see. Uh, Luminous Barrier, no changes by the looks of it. Mindbender, no changes. Solace is getting nerfed. Three seconds extra cooldown on Solace, but obviously it's scaling down with haste. I guess it will still do that. Um, and also the spell power, so it's also getting its damage nerfed. So this is Mindbender buff, essentially. Um, no word on the... Oh, here we go, Shield Discipline. Uh, no changes on that either. But again, that's a shield discipline buff. buff. Uh, I would suspect you're still going to use Solace in PvP. I think it's still superior due to the instant nature of it. Um, Shadow Covenant removed. That's getting reworked, I guess. We read about that earlier. We don't have any more info on that yet. Shining Force still there. Again, just some weird tooltip error. Um, so on to Holy. So Holy getting Desperate Prayer. Hold on, I'm getting a dry through. Um, yeah, so Desperate Prayer, Holy Gain, that's fine. Uh, Flash Heal, now available to all specs. I guess Holy had it anyway. Focused Will, nerf to 15%. Okay, Heal getting buffed. Uh, fair amount. And then Mana Cost nerf. Uh, I think that's okay. It'll be interesting to see... I think, honestly, I don't know if that mana cost nerf is needed. Like, I feel feel like there's more incentive needed to cast these kind of spells. Uh, especially in PvP, right? It's a 2.5 second cast. Like, in PvP, that's pretty much madness. Like, do with greater heal added now, which I don't think is good game design the way they've done it. But 
This is like between a flash heal and a great heal, right? And you're just getting way less value than if you just went for the great heal. And to be honest, if you can get this off, you can get a great heal off. So hard to find the niche for this, personally. Uh, Holy Fire, Smite and Holy Nova have a 20% chance to reset the cooldown of Holy Fire. And Holy Fire's damage over the time. Okay. Um, I mean, I guess Smite not getting removed from Holy, at least, then. Uh, consumes enemy flames, of course. Okay, so the dot from Holy Fire is doing a lot more damage. No, sorry, not the dot. The initial hit. The initial hit of Holy Fire is hitting way harder. Is that comparable to Solace? It's actually like twice as much damage as Solace. That's a lot of damage. That's going to hit really, really hard. I think that's almost... I, I Honestly, I think that's an overbuff. That's insane. It's casted now. Oh yeah, you're right. Okay, I, that, that kind of justifies it. Good point, good point. That I think that's fine then. I think that this makes very little sense now then. I think if you're dotting shit up or holy novering stuff and then if you get a, a reset then you cast a holy fire. If holy fire has a cast time then this makes no sense. Uh, smite still to a degree, but yeah, I mean, I think Holy Fire not having a cast time was kind of weird. I'm, I'm okay with it having a cast time and being buffed. Thank you for the host. Insane. Appreciate it, man. So yeah, that's, that's, that's okay. Fine with that. Holy Nova tooltip change, chastise. Cooldown reduced by four seconds when you cast Smite. That's okay. I feel like you can't human racial chastise right now. It's like... Maybe... It, oh, maybe it's not always a stun. That's why. It's an in-cap, unless you talent it, right? Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. Um... Serenity just... Usable at lower level, okay. I feel like the issue with Holy for me right now is the fact that Greater Heal needs to exist because in PvP, the heals... Everything except Greater Heal just does zero healing. Uh, whereas in Mop, you had Prayer of Mending and Serenity both doing a lot of work for you. And then you had Lightwell and Renew for that kind of healing during CC. And you kind of lack that now. So everything else, if you look at like a Holy Priest's... Uh, healing breakdown in PvP, it's like 5% all of the other heals, and then like 95% greater heal. Like, it's really depressing. So, it would be nice to see... Um, kind of mop levels of healing on Holy getting back again. Because in mop, Holy was really fun. It was fun because it was so, like, fluid and, and fast-paced... Uh, there were things that you could pre-do to avoid stuff. There was things that you could do to outplay other players. Uh, you had the potential to go in of your own accord rather than having to rely on your team. So you could be proactive and do stuff yourself and impact the game yourself rather than waiting for your team to allow you to impact the game. Um, this is from a PvP point of view. Uh, so yeah, Holy, Holy and Mop was fantastic. So if, if they're aspiring... To head towards anywhere with Holy, at least from a PvP point of view. Uh, that's that's where I would be trying to go with it. Um, Leap of Faith available to all specs. Prayer of Healing. Cost change. Okay, increase the mana cost. Uh, Psychic Scream available to all specs. Afterlife. Increase the duration of Spirit of Redemption by 50%. Oh, and increase the range of your healing spells while in Spirit of Redemption by 30%. Okay. I mean, I don't think that's a bad change. Uh, I think that the, obviously, Spirit of Redemption can't move, so I think this is kind of cool. Um, this is not really a, an arena change, I would say. This is more of like a raid change. Um, but I, I prefer disc in raids anyway. Uh, feather, 
no changes. Benediction looks like no changes. This initial thing is tilting me a little bit. I'm not too sure about that. Uh, Prem Mending has a 25% chance of redeeming. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Binding Heal, mana cost nerfed. Um, I kind of miss Binding Heal as disc, but I guess Renew is... Uh, not Renew, sorry. Pom would, would kind of fill that gap a little bit if we had it. Would be nice to see. Circle of Healing, Mana Cost Nerf, Divine Star, Halo, Suppress Circle, we already talked about that, so that's just going where Circle of Healing was, kind of makes sense. And then Shining Force, same thing. Okay, Thought Steal, new. Period to the mind of an enemy, attempting to steal a known spell. If stolen, the victim cannot cast that spell for 20 seconds. Can only be used on humanoids with mana if you're unable to find a spell to steal the cooldown of Thought Steal. Why would it fail? And how do you know what it's going to steal? Like, what if you steal Levitate? Is it random? If you're unable to find a spell to steal... wonder if this is dispellable. It's no, it's not like you get the spell though, right? Peer into the mind of an enemy, attempting to steal a known spell if stolen. Oh yeah, maybe you can cast it then. RNG dark sim that doesn't need pre-casting. I mean, I like the... <laughs> it just seems, like, so random. I think that stealing the ability is unbalanceable. The randomness of it is terrible, considering it's a 1.5 minute cooldown. It's like, you want it to be like, feasible, right? But it's just not there. It's not there yet. And it's like, then it's so hard to balance that. I think that's going to be infuriating. It will be like Symbiosis, I'm sure you steal a specific spell from each class. I think that would be have to, how it have to has to be. What if they're casting the ability and you thought steal while they're mid cast? This PvP talent is class wide, according to WowDB, not holy. Wait, Thought Steal is like a whole priest thing? If that's a whole priest talent, that's actually nutty. I think that it can't be random. I think if that's random, it's going to be absolutely fucking infuriating to play against. If they steal your mage's block and he can't block and dies. I think that is the most... I, I, I don't think that that can... I don't think it can be random. I think that if it's random, it's really bad. I think that if they set out an ability from each class for it to steal, then it gets really complicated. So it has to have some sort of condition on it. Attempting to steal a known spell. If you're unable to find a spell to steal, the cooldown is reset. It's 
if this is just like priest in general. See, now it's a shadow. Class, priest, PvP talent. Maybe it's shadow. I don't know. It says it on holy, but it's just so weird. I'd like to have more info on this. I think that that is a very interesting idea that could have very fucking chaotic results if they actually put it in the game like this. I think 20 seconds is an insane amount of time. I think they're going to nerf the duration. 20 seconds is an insane amount of time. It's like you're CSing someone for 20 seconds. I think it's good that they're trying new stuff, but they need to be really, really careful with this. Otherwise, it's just going to get taken straight out again. Instant channel. What does that even mean? Maybe it can be dispelled as well, we don't know. If it can be dispelled, then it's like... Kind of eh. It's It says it's instant, but on the other shit it says channeled. So I don't know. We need more info before we can really comment fully on it. I think if they do something like this, it can't, it needs to be less duration and it can't be, it needs to be either a set pool of abilities, um, but then it gets quite complicated or it needs to be, it needs to be like, almost like the DK one. I don't understand the channeled bit, because it doesn't say channeled on here, uh, like anywhere. It says instant. Stop thinking about it. Hey man, this is the most interesting shit I've seen in like two years for Priest, probably longer. I'm gonna linger. <laughs> if this is, if this is Priest like wide, not just holy, that's really, really interesting. And I think that that is the kind of PvP talent there needs to be more of. Because this is changing the way you're going to play your class. For sure. And it's potentially going to be a lot of fun. Whereas you have other things like Trinity, which keeps getting more and more stuff piled onto it, even though it's already Biss, which I don't understand at all. And then you have other talents that are like completely reduced to fucking nothing, like um, the shield fizz damage reduction one, which was a pretty good talent in Legion, and then they removed the healing part of it, and now it's just, like, left in the depths with the shield nerfs. It's completely useless, so... And then that's just not getting any buffs. Um, so, yeah, onto Shadow Dispersion. Void forms, insanity drain is temporarily reduced. Okay, cool. Flash you. Okay. Randomly. I feel like this is a bug, but we'll see. I feel like every patch we, we see slash heal getting added to every spec somehow. It's really weird. Uh, Leap of faith added to all specs. Mind blast cooldown reduced by seven seconds. Eh. How does that work? 
I mean, the flash heel scaling is really bad. Like, really, really bad. It's like half of a men's scaling, so I'm not too sure what's going on there. So I guess the Shadow Mind Blast is going to potentially absorb as well, but we'll have to see. I'm not too sure about that. Mind Flay, land at lower level. Mind Seer. Ooh! Available to all specs. I hope that's true. That would be cool. If, if Mind Seer is available to all specs, that's kind of hype, because Mind Searing to get rogues out of stealth is, uh, is cool. Shield buffed. Fear, still 60 seconds cooldown without talent. We already talked about that. Mend. Buffed, but mana cost nerfed. Uh, pain. Again, that's the scaling reductions. Uh, uh, sorry, the duration reduction, scaling staying the same, but uh, if void form is keeping up, then it's not really that much of an issue. Vamp embrace. Healing done by Vamp Embrace increase. So I guess this is like rank 2 of it and it's doing more. How do you get rank 2 of something? Heal an ally for 50% of single target damage and then rank 2 is just taking up to the normal amount. Okay. So it's just just from leveling. Okay. So they're just moving out the leveling. All right, that's fine. Um, VT is just available at lower level by the look of it. And then it has a rank 2. Oh, so they're adding the horror flea on the rank 2, I guess. Void Bolt. Can we cast while channeling Mind Flay? That's cool. That's really cool. Because right now you do some like dodgy cancelling with Mind Flay all the time. And it makes the spec really clunky to play when you're Void Forming. So the fact that you can do this while channeling Mind Flay is really interesting. That's very cool. What's this? Searing Nightmare. Let's have a look. You can now cast Mind Blast or Shadow Word Void while channeling Mind Seer. Which will deal 150% of its total. That's really weird though. Now you're just adding in like cast time stuff into channel stuff and like I don't like that the other one is fine because it's an instant right that's that's interesting for sure but having a cast while casting and it's just like nah that's gonna make it hella weird Kiki what you doing uh, talents body and soul Okay, Death and Madness, we already talked about. 40 Insanity for executing is not bad. That's going to add some more skill cap to like fights with adds for Shadow for sure. I remember in, um, shit, what expansion was that? I think it might have been Kata actually. Like Shadow had like super high skill cap on AoE fights. Um, yeah, Mythic Plus as well. This is... Definitely going to help. Um, Fortress of the Mind. Wait, is Mind Spike back? Weird. Shadow of Death. So this is the Shadow version. The target is not killed by shadow or death. The cast that takes damage equal to the damage inflicted upon the target. Cool. It's doing one one five percent, which is about a solace. So I think it should be enough to break fears if they don't change the fear break threshold. Okay. Cool. Wait, 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 wait. 25 second cooldown? Are they going to add a 25 second cooldown to death? There's no way. That's way too long. It's rank 1. Rank 2 is 15. Okay, thank God. So 
Surrender to Manus we talked about. I think it's interesting that it's coming back. PvP Talents Void Shift. That's fine. Right, Boon. We haven't really talked about this. This is the new um, thingy abilities, right? Where is it? Covenant abilities. I just want to say ahead of time that I think that these covenant abilities are a really bad idea. Um, and are going to potentially fuck up the game. Like, having this shit tied to, like, a spec that you can't fluidly change is gonna make your character suck for certain content and you're gonna have to, you're just gonna have to have, like, three characters, basically. And then you use one character for one bit of content, one character for another bit of content, one character for another bit of content. And then as they buff and nerf certain ones, because one of them is gonna be the best, right? For sure. They're never gonna balance them all, so one of them will be the best for the content that you wanna do. Unless you can, like, respect them in some sort of talent tree. And and everyone is going to min-max. And anyone that doesn't go the one that's the best is just going to be branded a human male. And everyone's just going to ridicule them. If you didn't play Classic, you won't get that joke. But it's It's, like, you can't have... In this day and age, you can't have abilities that are different where some of them will be the best for whatever content and then lock them behind massive like grinds or character changing stuff that you can't decide upon uh, on demand. If they want to make the Covenant visual and lock you into that, by all means, go nuts. But I think when you're talking about abilities like this, you cannot lock players into that and then expect them to make an informed choice and expect them not to go for the best one. And then what happens when stuff gets buffed and nerfed? Now your character is suddenly shit. And you don't get taken to the raid because you're the wrong covenant. like, Or you can't do PvP because you're the wrong covenant. Or you played against someone in PvP and they had the other covenant, but because you locked into yours two weeks ago and then it got nerfed, you got destroyed. You know, it's like you can't do it. It doesn't work in this day and age. So it needs to be visual that you lock into um, and the abilities themselves need to be on some sort of talent tree that you can change on demand the same way you do with essences and shit like that now. Um, so I'm going to go through all of these. And yeah, so that I mean that's that's what I've got to say about covenants. I think that that is a really really important point, more important than probably anything I've said in this entire um like monologue or whatever you want to call it so far. Um, I think that there is a lot of good stuff, and I'm really optimistic about Shadowlands. This is the main thing I'm concerned about. I would say. I was very concerned about death. I'm I'm not concerned about that anymore. That's like made my week hearing that news. Made my fucking month even. And I think this is potentially the thing that will like so you know how how in in BFA and stuff everyone like hates the the how es uh, essences were countdown and they hate the AP grinds. Um and, and Legion, they hated the RNG of legendaries and all that shit. This is going to be the thing that people hate about Shadowlands if they don't address it. Um, so get the word out. Talk about it. Tell Blizzard. Make forum posts. Do whatever you need to. This is the thing that will fuck up Shadowlands if they don't deal with it. And it doesn't need to. It doesn't need to. There's no reason for this to... To ruin the expansion. They can change it. And they can make it the way that players want it. Nobody wants it to be locked in. Nobody. It's not fun. It's not enhancing the game experience in any way, shape or form. 
So, rant over. Please, Blizzard, please rethink it. Um, so, Boon of the Ascended, Shadow. Draw upon the power of the Ascended for 10 seconds, granting you access to Ascended Nova, replacing Mind Flay with Ascended Blast and increasing movement speed by 50%. Okay, 50% move speed. That's very nice. How long is the cooldown on this? 1.5 second cast, 3 minute cooldown. Okay. So, 10, 10 seconds of 50% movement speed. Let's see what it does for disc. Upon expiration, releases an Ascended Eruption. Explode for 150% spell power, arcane damage to all enemies, and 200% spell power, healing allies within 15 yards. Too, too low range for PvP, at least. Increased by 3% for each stack of Boon of the Ascended. So how do you get a stack? By using abilities, or what? Will this break CC? I don't think this is good for PvP, just looking at that. I guess that's the Shadow one. Let's see what the Disc one is. Uh, blah, 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 replacing Smite with Ascended Blast. So we do still have confirmation that Smite exists, I guess. That's good. Ascended Blast increasing movement speed by 50%. Honestly, right now, from what I'm looking at this, the only well, the main draw of this is the move speed increase. Upon expiration, releases Ascended Eruption, blah, blah, blah. So it's the same thing. I'm guessing you get stacks by using the ability. I wonder if it costs mana. Doesn't look like it costs mana. Does the can you heal people with ascended blast, or do you just use your normal healing spells? I guess you would use this on nukes or something. I'm very concerned about this breaking CC. Uh, the healing to all allies within 15 yards. This is very very low. This needs to be up to like 40. 15 yards is too much of a constraint, honestly, on ability like this when you're going ham with the move speed. You have move speed, right? So you're going to be all over the shop. Why would you be within 15 yards of everyone else? It makes no sense. Fade now reduces the chain, uh, the range at which enemies will attack you when used while active. This is awesome. I spoke to a guy on Classic a few months ago, and he legit thought this is what Fade did. He didn't know that Fade was like an aggro drop. He thought it was a range drop. So it's interesting that they've actually now added that. And I think, honestly, it could have always done this. I think this is a, a cool kind of addition to a spell that doesn't actually have any real game-breaking results. It's just, like, quality of life. So I'm, I'm a fan of this. I like this. Um, so basically what this does is it's kind of like Minesoup, and I wonder if they're kind of piling Minesoup into this. If they're baking Minesooth into this, or if they're giving us Minesooth as well. I would assume that they're baking Minesooth into Fade. So, this isn't, this isn't like they can't use spells on you from 40 yards away. This is like, you won't pull mobs from as far away now. If we get Mind Soothe as well, it's kind of weird. But, I mean, I, I think it's cool. Um, so yeah, Fey Blessings. Let's see, 2% of mana on this one. 1 1.5 minutes CD. Your next 10 spell casts send forth helpful sprites, aiding your target depending on your chosen spell. So Disc. Shadow Men reduces damage taken by 10% for 15 seconds. Shield invigorates target with 2% mana or 20% resource. Radiance reduces the cooldown of one of their major abilities by 3 seconds. Again, kind of random. This doesn't look that good, honestly. I guess 20% resource is a lot more worth than 2% mana. So you could use this with Rapture. I wonder if it's on global. Like, when you pop Rapture, you could, like, spam Rapture shields on yourself slash, yeah, a rogue, potentially. I'm going to chuck it on YouTube, yeah, Seddies. 
So, I mean, I don't think this is terrible. It's nice that it's a 1.5 minute CD, but it's like, it's quite, it's not a massive thing, right? You're not going to press this and it's like your game breaking thing that you're pressing. Um, it's not a get out of jail card. It's not a, hey, I pressed Fey Blessing, so now I'm going to live. It's potentially like a mana tool or a, an offensive tool. Shadow men reducing damage taken by 10% is very minor. That's almost like Masso, but on someone else, right? So it'll be interesting to see if Masso goes as a result of that. Um, right now, if Boon of the Ascended doesn't break CC, it'll be interesting if the if the uh, Ascended Nova is not AoE and breaking damage, and I, I don't know how that's going to work. Extra shit for Shadow Priest. Mind Blast reduces a nearby ally's damage taken by 10%. Powered Shield, 2% mana. Void buff reduces cooldowns of up to 5 allies by 3 seconds. It's 2%. It's, they all have 2%. I guess you're void botting a lot. I think that's that's probably going to be bis for raid shadows, right? Because you're you're void botting like constantly pretty much. That's so much better than the disc and the holy version. Legit 10 void bolts. And you're reducing the the teammates abilities by 3 seconds. God comp as well. I don't know because it depends on what what is classed as a major ability. Have to see. Um, master spell. Master spell is now potent enough to remove some magic normally undispellable. Okay, so it's just master spell rank two. So nothing really changing with that. Sadly, still a, a forty-five second cooldown for unknown reasons. Which is a shame. Would be nice to just have the mana cost on it. Because obviously it costs a lot of mana. But because it's 45 second cooldown. It almost doesn't matter that it costs a lot of mana. Because there's no decision making for you to do anyway. So that's a shame. It would be nice to see that down to like 15 seconds again. Potentially. Mind control. Controls a mind up to one level above yours for 30 seconds. Does not work versus demonic. Undead or mechanical. I, for a second, I thought you could mind control undead and mechanical. I was like, what? Okay. Uh, mind soothe. Soothes the mind, reducing the range at which mobs will attack you by 10 yards. Only affects humanoid and dragon kin. So fade is going to work on all mobs. Whereas mind soothe is, is humanoid and dragon kin only. All right. Mind games. This is one I'm definitely interested in as well. Assault an enemy's mind, dealing 200% of spell power. <coughs> Shadow damage and briefly reversing their perception of reality. I'm looking forward to this one. So this one is the Venthyr Covenant. Um, and it does, by the look of it, quite a lot. For, the next, for, for five seconds, the next damage they deal will heal their... Target, so I don't know how the scaling is going to work. It's a, it's a set damage threshold, I guess. So all of that damage for the next five seconds will heal the target. So it's going to be capped. So like Greater Pyro will still do a bit of damage, probably. Depending on how high this cap is. And the next healing will deal damage to their target. So again, the same thing for Greater Heal, right? In terms of doing damage. Generates up to 40 Insanity. Reversed healing and damage res restores up to 4% mana. That's cool. Uh, what's the cooldown on this? And is it instant? 1.5 second cast. Oh my god. I mean, is this dispellable? It's kind of like, it's not going to be a thing that you use on someone to try and catch them out. It's going to be something that you kind of 
use like after they like as they're coming out of a stun you land a mind games right and then they have to fucking go through this shit but if it's dispellable then it's like okay you ga basically gained one global um or you can use it when they pop a cd to heal to, to, to i guess get some healing so I'd, i actually i don't think the, the cast time is terrible on it it'll be inter interesting to see what school it is as well it looks like it's going to be shadow um but yeah 45 second cooldown is quite low. I think this is going to be one of one of Priest's major defensives. I'm I'm assuming Vitality will be gone, which is going to suck cuz that's really helping us right now. If it's dispellable, it's not that good. But only because um like, it's, it's fine if you use it on a healer. You're essentially extending a stun by 1.5 seconds, right? Um, but if you, like, say, use it on a rogue that's vendettering or a mage that's combusting, you're not going to get that much value out of it before it gets dispelled, probably. It's not one spell, though. It's all the damage for five seconds. So that's why this threshold, I'm not too sure how high it is. It looks to be quite high. Spell power times four. Don't know why it has four divided by 100. That's really weird. Um, so spell, spell power times four. Times one plus versa. So say you have like 15k int, so about 15k spell power, times that by four. I think that's gonna be really high. You would have to use it on when you're when the healer's in CC or doesn't have a dispel. It's kind of like claw almost. It's like a claw, but that makes people heal. There's gonna be a stat squish. Okay, I still think I still think it's a decent amount. Looking at this scaling, it's not minor. It's spell power times four times one plus versa. It's gonna be a decent amount, regardless of squish, because it's a decent amount right now. So if they squish then everyone is going to be doing less damage too. I think the fact that it's dispellable, I think that that's okay. I think that if it wasn't, it would be OP because of the cooldown. Um, so I think it's the kind of thing you want to drop on someone and get as much value out of it either before it gets dispelled or if the healer doesn't have dispel available. And you can try and land it at the end of a cast as well. But it is a cast time, so... How does it work with Atonement? I doubt it affects Atonement healing. Non-priest spells usually don't. Like, Flame doesn't. Sick for Druids. Yeah, so if you if a Druid gets stunned with full hots and you drop this shit on him, all his healing is going to do damage. It's a Covenant ability, so you're locking into it. I mean, we already talked about this, right? Covenant abilities need to be a talent-based system. They can't be locked into it. It's... If, if they make it so that you're locking into it, it's going to be really bad. Power infusion. I hope PI is off global. 20 seconds is a long time. It's good. If it's not, not the end of the world, but I really hope it is off global. Two minute CD as before. Really excited about that one. Uh, Power word fortitude nerfed. Okay, not too sure about that. Didn't seem like the most broken thing in the world to me, but... 
Whatever. Rank 2, Shadow of Death, cooldown is reduced by 10 seconds. So you have 15 seconds cooldown on death. As opposed to 12 on Premonition right now. Bear in mind that if Mage retains Shimmer, this is actually a buff for Priests. Because what you can do is run out of loss. And if he goes for the Blink Sheep, you can just be there spamming death. And the moment he gets in loss, the death will go off. So you'll death the sheep, and if he doesn't sheep, then he committed a blink, and then you can run out of loss again. And unless he has another blink, you're gonna um, you're gonna avoid it. So I think this definitely is a buff to the priest in the priest v mage matchup, which I think at the moment the mage has slight advantage, like 60 40 maybe. I think this actually, bearing in mind that the cooldown is increased by three seconds, but I think it actually gives the priests a slight advantage. The only way he wouldn't have an advantage is if you're going open field, or if you can't do what I just mentioned due to lag or whatever. Smite. Zero points. Okay, so smite mana nerf. No absorb on it anymore. I, th I guess they're adding that into Mind Blast now. Uh, Unholy Nova. So this is the other Covenant shit, right? Yeah, here we go. Uh, an explosion of dark energy heals allies within 15 yards. Again, seems super low. Super, super low. Um, and infects enemies with unholy transfusion, which deals 200% of spell power damage over 15 seconds. Not that high. Um, how much is pain doing? As a comparison. Where's pain? So pain is about 100% spell power over 16 seconds. Didn't they nerf that to 12 seconds though? Where is it? Oh, scrolling so far up. I feel like I missed it. Here. So pain is going to be 75% over 12 seconds. Um, and this is going to be 200% over 15 seconds. So it's about double what Pain is doing now. So that's not insignificant, especially if you're getting trained by two melee. Um, it's going to do healing. It's going to be a minute cooldown. It's going to do healing. And then enemies who damage this target are healed for 20% of spell power. So it's going to be like leech right for everyone that's hitting the guys that are hitting you or or in the nova so I, again i don't think that's terrible for against cleave rank one pain will be 12 seconds rank two will be 16 okay so yeah this is about twice of a pain um So Holy Nova ranked, I guess Holy Nova rank one is a 0 0.5 second cast or something. Rank two is making it instant. Rank two prayer mending is instant. Shadow Covenant instantly heals the target and four other allies within 30 yards for 135% of spell power. Is that more than Radiance? 135%. Let's have a look. Where's Radiance? Am I blind if I gone past it? Here we go, Radiance. So it's actually, it's more than Radiance. Radiance is 75% for 6.5% of base mana. But it only has one charge now. So this is less, it's, this has got a cooldown, it's less mana cost and it heals for about, what, 60% more? So just under double a Radiance. 
Increases the shadow damage you deal by 25% for 7 seconds, but during this period you will be unable to cast any holy spells. I don't think that's terrible, you know? I think that that is a lot better than what we've got now. I think that's a real st a step up from Old Shadow Covenant. Question is, will it apply atonements? I guess probably not. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see. Tier 3 Azerite powers. I don't understand this. What are we, are we, does that mean we're getting Azerites in Shadowlands? Since it seems like they're tuning them. It's for leveling. Okay. Chorus buffed. Homily buffed. Death Rose buffed. Depth but It seems like they're just buffing everything across the board. Kiki, get out of the way. Gift of Forgiveness. Is that back? Just everything seems buffed by a pretty much the same percentage across the board. I wonder why. That's weird. Anyone know why they're doing that? Right, I think that, that pretty much that concludes... Um, I'll do another review of stuff once we either get alpha or more info. This was definitely... I think this was definitely a positive summary of stuff. I think the Priest looks like it's going to be a lot of fun in Shadowlands. I think that we're getting a lot of new tools um, to change up the way that the spec is played. This Well, Disc and Holy, to be honest with you, um, for PvP. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm optimistic other than obviously the covenant stuff. I think that they've done a lot of changes, which was needed, um, shaking up the class, re doing some reworks. Uh, I hope that they do some numbers tuning once we've seen some stuff on alpha and beta. Uh, I feel like in the BFA beta, they added, well, they didn't really add that much. There was like the Azerites and that's kind of it. And then they, we were like, oh yeah, they're going to do some number tuning. It'll be fine. And then they just didn't. And then everything just launched and it was just like hella questionable. I don't know. Um, so I hope they do do kind of do some tweaking. Um, but yeah, overall, definitely positive. I like that they're trying some new stuff. I think that's really... The step that they need to be taking and just trying to rework classes and add new depth to them in general i think that the content is good and if they continue with the content that they've or the, or the line of content that they're doing if they make classes more interested in, in, and enjoyable to play then the game is going to be in a really good spot um from what i've seen here disc is going to be more fun to play there's a lot of interesting stuff being added. There's a couple of things which I'm not too sure about, but generally I think there's a lot of interesting stuff and, and fun stuff being added. Uh, we'll have to see how it plays out. It's really hard to, to tell how it works from just reading. Uh, so definitely there could be stuff that they're trying and, and goes live and just doesn't work. Like you, you don't know without trying it, right? So we'll have to wait and see on that one. Um, but I like, I think a lot of the changes are positive. I would like to see some more changes to the, the talent tree, specifically for disc. Because I think there's a lot of stale stuff right now. I'll quickly go over that real fast. Let me just log on. Just to finish up. I'm 
dead. Good. Let me rest. Um, so talents that I think need a rework. Um, I'm guessing Schism is probably going to get the boot um, due to the new the new Covenant. It was a Covenant, right? I think it was Covenant. Uh, where you, you do more damage for 7 seconds or whatever. So we'll have to wait and see for that. I think Twist of Fate is probably going to stay. I'm not the biggest fan of it, but maybe it could use some tweaking in some, some way. I'm not too sure. Um... Personally, I'm a big fan of Castigation, obviously Schism for PvE, and then Twist just kind of doesn't really have a niche as such right now. Um, obviously, we talked about this too already. I think Body and Soul and Angelic Feather need to be baked into one. They're too similar. Body and Soul kind of is just superior for me at this point due to the, the double value of it now that Weak and Soul has been... Um, the cooldown has been removed and Weak and Soul has been like attached to the player that you cast it on. Masso, I think, needs to go, potentially be baseline, but um, but if not, it shouldn't kind of be necessary to take this against melee. I think the class does need something else, which could potentially be a freedom here on Fade. Uh, so you could have a body and soul at 60% speed, a freedom here on Fade, and then um, spectral guys here. That would be nice to see. Uh, Solace got nerfed slightly, but I think this tier is generally okay. I think there's some interesting choices, especially with Mindbender and Solace, depending on like boss fights that you're against, uh, that, that you're on, and and then teams that you're against. There's potential to to switch these up, so I think that's good. Shield Discipline's a little bit behind at the moment. Maybe we could see that slightly buffed. I'm not sure how that affects PVE, um, but right now I think it's a bit behind. So could probably use some love. Uh, this tier, I mean, this is completely a meme. Like I don't think I've spec this one time ever. Um, this should not exist. This should be baseline because it makes the tier a lot less interesting since you're taking this 90% of the time. Um, Shining Force is cool, but it kind of suffers from the fact that you can't take it a lot because of you're taking this. So deleting these two, I think, making this baseline and adding some other forms of, um, of CC in here, potentially a root. Could be cool. Um, I was thinking silence, but to be honest, last time we had silence, I think it was Warden. It turned out to be a shit show, so I don't think silence is the play. But Void Tendrils for sure could be interesting, or maybe a route that they can't just instantly kill. Um, would help Disc a lot with, with peeling themselves uh, from melee. So you could have the route in combination with a Freedom, and then you can actually protect yourself. So you no longer need Masochism, and potentially no longer need Focused Will. Um, would have to see how it plays out so you can tweak the numbers. So yeah, that would be a really cool addition for this one. As for the third talent, I don't have an idea. If anyone in chat has an idea for the third one, do scream out. Give me some ideas. Give me some uh, some of your thoughts. want to hear them. Uh, for this one, Shadow Covenant being reworked, I think that's cool. Contrition, I think, is cool too. I think it is still slightly behind. Um... And then Sins of the Many, uh, I think, has been a success since its implementation. Uh, no issues with that. Maybe a slow. Maybe a slow would be cool. Um, a ranged slow, since we don't have that at the moment. So next we've got, yeah, Purge the Wicked, Divine Star, and Halo. So I think these two are too similar. Um, and both of them don't feel good to press. I think adding in a different one um, on this tier that kind of bakes them in together but also feels better to press. Like you don't see that much result of pressing either of these, um, making it not that fun to push that button. Having some sort of scaling in place that kind of makes it so that when you're in a raid it's not godly but when you're in a group it's not complete piss would be nice to see um obviously cascade gone because it was again too similar and that was a nutty one anyway maybe just cascade in general would be um 
would be fine. Like deleting both these, add Cascade, make Cascade do the majority of its healing at the start. That way, if it doesn't bounce to a lot of targets, it doesn't kind of get, it doesn't become piss, right? But then if it does bounce to a lot of targets, it isn't insanely OP um, because it's reducing each time. Um, not sure where that one was removed. I think it was probably one of the better ones out of the three. So removing these two and adding in Cascade would be cool. And then you have the choice of Purge the Wicked Cascade or some third talent. I'm not sure. <coughs> I think if Cascade applies Atonement to people that it hits, it's going to be insanely OP. There's no way. Because you can just press that and atone the whole raid. And it basically makes this obsolete in Radiance as well. It just makes Disc way too easy. Um, and then the last here, obviously, Lenience getting removed. The new Barrier talent being added in. Again, we have two Barrier talents here. Not a big fan of Barrier, as we've talked about already. Um, so hopefully we see that changed up. And this is just like generally lackluster, to be honest. Uh, the issue with it being... Um, in PvP is to spellable. Doesn't actually absorb that much. Um, when you're, you've not got that many teammates... Same sort of thing in Mythic Plus, same sort of issue, um, where it doesn't actually absorb that much, and you're losing actual barrier to get it. So you're trading a lot to get this, and it feels not worth it. Um, so you end up going Lenience in, in Mythic Plus and in PvP due to it, and this is just, like, that's really sad, right? When this is the best talent on the tier for some content, it's depressing, just to, due to the nature of the talent. Uh, and then Evangelism, I, I think this is fine for PV, PvE the raiding um so yeah a couple of new talents in here would definitely be welcome pvb talents i think most of them are fine they have their niches i think these are fine trinity has potentially got too much power on it now trinity was already very good and then it got the second part of it um i don't know if trinity was the thing that needed that priest needed some love at the time but potentially it needed to go on to something else because now trinity feels very mandatory in a lot of pvp content strength of soul is super super bad right now because of the shield nerfs in bfa and it also got the healing nerf uh, the healing on it removed because of shield being um being more spammable so this right now definitely needs some love. Radiance is fine. Archangel, I would say, needs to come off the global cooldown. It's pretty weak right now overall compared to everything else. Um, it increases your healing by 20%, but you can actually just, um, you know, press another mend or, you know, you're using a global for it, so you're losing healing until like the fourth or fifth cast after you use this. So it doesn't feel good as an on demand healing cooldown. Um, due to the global. Uh, Premonition, I'm guessing, is going due to death. Searing Light is okay, but I think a higher, higher rating, it feels very hard to get away with using this. Um, you're not getting that many smites off in PvP. Um, so it's, it's tough to get value out of this, and it often feels like a gamble. If they go on you, you're not going to be really using this that much. Um... I may experiment it with some with it some more. Maybe it's maybe I'm underrating it. I don't think this really needs any changes um, because I think it has interesting interaction with other stuff, uh, and it's definitely not as weak as some other stuff. So it's fine. Uh, Dome I think is okay. I mean I've, I've voiced my opinions on barrier in general already, um, and dark is fine. I think. So yeah, uh, that's my opinion on the PvP talents. Uh, adaptation and Relentless, I'm not a big fan of. I think Trinket should be the only option here um, and have it baseline. I think that potentially your options here should be like an unused int or a proc int or like a BM Trinket. Um, I'm not a big fan of Safeguard either. Um, so yeah. Safeguard, safeguard proccing without you pressing anything does not feel like good design to me. So hopefully we see that go. As for the other trinkets, I mean, Maledict I think is in an okay spot now. BM Trinket is fine. Safeguard, not a fan. This is fine. Breach, I don't think is getting that much use. 
I think it's an interesting concept. Maybe we'll see more use out of it in the future. Uh, proc trinket, obviously we talked about, and then this is just a different unused trinket. Potentially we can have both of those in an option. And then I think spite is, I think this is just like for fun, right? At the end of BFA, I can't see this maintaining through to next expansion. Um, it's kind of a meme, I, I'd say. Um, a way to, to cheese wins, I guess. So yeah, that's uh, kind of my summary. I will mark this and put it on YouTube tonight. Where's my marker?